there should be a, a an awareness flag popping up in your brain when things are getting chaotic and we need to train this thing where if if things are chaotic and you could feel it and you survive the chaos especially at champion almost always you are getting open space after that all right so loomis went for mechanics and the games have been going well so let's see all right mr loomis champ two nice try good ah close i like you going for that that's a step in the right direction as well should have took the boost. Good turn. Very good. That works. Works. Very good. I do think um, we're, we're kind of halfway committed to the play style a little bit. Like, second guessing... The slowdowns what i mean by this is like this is when we want to control right like like this this is when you want to control but like everything else is just kind of you know attack 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 i, I will elaborate more on this i would say overall i i'd say we lean more towards completing this play style this attack dog but also control heavy play style um like, I love this. Like, you know, create chaotic moments and then control off the chaos like this. Your teammate gets the control, but this is good. Good. And I like our cuts. And, like, this is when we control. Right? So, like, it, it'll, it'll take some time, but, like, uh, it's game sense, really, Loomis. But, like, the thing you're controlling off the chaos, so you're cutting, you're... You're diving, you're being chaotic, and you will most likely get your open space after that. It's just more so identifying these moments where you have this space, which is easier said than done. Don of Regret, I really appreciate that, man. I appreciate you coming by the stream. I'm glad you see value in the videos, man. I've gotten a little bit of mixed feedback, but all in all, I think the information's great. And, uh, I mean, you're right, I do cut out the BS. <laughs> Uh, so a lot of what we do online, um, since I am kind of taking a part-time role in RLCS right now, is doing a lot of content coaching. And I, I recently started doing the YouTube grind, so I'm glad you like it, man. My content is definitely not for everybody. Uh, so right now we're looking at a Champ 2 player who actually works with me privately as well, um, who really is a different player, which I love. Um, don't really care about that. I want to keep kind of finding these pockets of space. Ah, it's hard, man. Not just the space, but like we shouldn't. I don't know. It's more, it's not just space. It's more so figuring out how to throttle this on off switch of this play style. It's where my brain is. That's a good 50 in front of the net. We'll take that. We should be scored on, but we'll take that. Okay, something something is going on with our dive challenges. I do like our cuts, though. And then we control off the cut, right? Like being able to anticipate that space. But something is going on. I want to say we're just out of position. Good. 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 That's the definition of chaos right there. We score off the chaos. Good, good, good. I like our defensive cuts. Well, I like our cuts altogether. But our our dive challenges, like try to find another example before I kind of start breaking them down. Very good. That's fine. Works, it works, it works. I am overall I'm actually fine with that because I know we've been talking about pre-jumping sidewall. We were just 
that was like the pre jumpiest pre jump I've ever seen. Um, we were so out of position, but I mean, this is a. That's fine. I mean, what's bugging me the most, man? Like, if I'm going to get analytical, we're just not. Con we're not. We're doing our boom and chase. We're cutting. We're playing aggressive, but then we're not taking advantage of the opportunity that that creates. And I swear it's decision making slash awareness. I, I really feel like our mechanics are good enough to air dribble, like we've seen a couple. So I'm trying to how how the how the heck do we get awareness for this? I, I love I mean I love a lot of stuff. I love our cuts. And I I really like like we're we're cutting on defense and then we just brought the ball across our goal line. Like we're to create these chaotic moments and we're baiting in fifties. And I love how we're playing our defensive half. And like, obviously we can't control off this, but teammates going to control. So like, that's the control off chaos workflow. Part of me wants to say, just keep doing this because like, I feel like it's one of those things that works itself out. The more you practice a play style like this, I don't think there's any magic secret See, this is the control off chaos teammate will get the control play misses but very good double score off that I mean this is a pros outweigh the cons replay for sure pre jump good love the pre jumps maybe I just try to highlight some of the that's the awareness Maybe I just try to highlight some of these elements that we should keep having like a narrow focus on. It, it's like the the overall pacing of this match is awesome. Like you look like a twos player. You look like how you need to play twos to get up to Grand Champ. The, all the in-between stuff is what we do with the ball and taking advantage of these opportunities. But that kind of happens over time. I think what I'm left with, good job. What I'm left with is just highlighting these elements that we need to keep doing. For those watching, with how Loomis is as a player, it's it's choosing to do the mechanics. Like I've always talked about with this this with him, it's decision making rather than like mechanics itself. Like he does have good baseline fundamental mechanics, but like he just needs to choose to be a little bit more creative. But this is what I want you to continue to focus on we're playing the field side to side on defense which is so awesome it's like bring the ball across the goal line bait in 50s cut that would be like our defensive highlights right now i would throw in more backboard and i would keep pre-jumping so this is all the stuff that you need to keep doing typically you can feel when something is chaotic things just get tight i don't really know how to explain it but like there should be a, a, an awareness flag popping up in your brain when things are getting chaotic. And we need to train this thing where if, if things are chaotic and you could feel it and you survive the chaos, especially at champion, almost always you are getting open space after that. It is rare in champion that chaos leads to more chaos to more chaos. We need to like keep doing this to create these chaotic moments on defense survive it and then control in the open space afterwards because i i think it's our transition impact that we're lacking i still like the one touch booming clears we're we're not super demo focused in this replay but i don't really want to go down a demo route with you because like you have it keep pre-jumping sidewall reads nothing else is dude there's nothing else loomis this is a keep doing what you're doing if anything, we could call this uh, working the field side to side on defense, baiting in over commits, controlling off the space that that creates. But really, really where you're at right now, play style is good. The gameplay elements are good. Mechanics are getting there. I think it's we need to start taking advantage of these moments a bit more, whether it's a shot or a control play with whatever mechanics we have. I'm not talking anything crazy. It's just like with with the tools you have right now, we need to start taking advantage. Everything else looked good. I mean, I wish we could look at Loomis from four months ago. Completely different player. I, I think you're playing twos, how a grand champ would play twos. What a grand champ would do is they would just be scoring a little bit more counterattack open nets, and they would be a, a little bit more mechanical. 
just getting that air dribble. Right direction. Boring, but you could play a little bit of ones, man. Maybe a little bit of ones and focusing that defensive counterattack. Think about if there's a stat for counterattacks, meaning transitioning and scoring immediately, like really trying to focus on that consistency. I've done the same with pro play where I, I would hand calculate a stat in a series, how many times we win a back left, back right kickoff and how many times we create offense or score off that possession play. So making that sidewall air dribble, ground to air, air dribble, cut, pass, whatever it is, more threatening. You need to make your counterattack mechanics more threatening and then keep like instigating that through the, the chaos, right? You're, you're, you're pretty much baiting players to dive.